one more consideration in relation to companies' sources of information. So we've seen that companies can source their information from internal sources or from external sources. Now we're going to consider a particular type of method that can be used in order to, order to gather information. And that is called sampling. And it's usually used in relation to some kind of market research. So for example, if we are considering launching a new product, we might want to understand whether or not customers are going to like and want our new product. Or TV stations might use sampling to understand what programs people tend to watch at different points in the day. Now, if we're applying sampling, all we're doing is we're selecting samples from the population as a whole and asking them whether or not they'll like our new product or asking them what TV programs they watch. And we assume that that sample represents the views of the population as a whole. Now, there's a few different approaches we can apply to sample, sampling. First of all, we have random sampling. So, if we want perhaps a sample number of people of 100 people, then we choose 100 people, or however many we want, completely at random. So, everyone has an equal chance of being selected. So, we don't take into any consideration perhaps different age groups and so on. We are just selecting a hundred people from the population at random. And there is as much chance of one person being chosen as the next person. Our next approach to sampling is systematic sampling. In this case, we select our first sample at random and the rest at constant intervals. So, let's suppose, for example, we have 20,000 people in a large auditorium and we want to select a hundred of those people as our sample group. Then we perhaps might order the people in the room in order of age. And then we'll select our first person at random from our auditorium. Then after that, we are going to select every tenth person going from left to right across the room until we've got our 100 people sample population. And that's our systematic sampling. So our first person is chosen at random, and after that, it's every 10th or every 20th person. Our final sampling method is called stratified sampling. If we're applying stratified sampling, we divide the population into categories and select at random from each category. So, for example, again, if we are trying to select a sample population of 100 from 20,000 people, first, we might categorize all of the people in our population into age groups. So maybe we've got people aged 16 to 24. We've got our next age group, which would be 25 to 34, and so on. So for example, if we stratify into age groups, 16 to 24 years, 25 to 34, and maybe then 35 to 50-year-olds. 
and then we just select perhaps 33 people at random from each of our three age groups.